Tonight's boxing action proudly brought to you by Madison Sport. About two international fights on tonight's card. Firstly, fighting out of the red corner. And well, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us in the red corner here this evening. We're taking you back to February 16 here in 2007 at the Kedron Wayville Services Club. As we look at that man, Rolando Horonko from Cebu City in the Philippines, and he's fighting Australia's Jim Savage, a man that's been out of the ring for six years. Give it up for the warrior, and what a warrior he is, Rolando Horonko. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brad Vacali. Joining me here uh, tonight is uh, Queensland's Mr. Boxing, Brian Kerwin, as we listen to uh, our ring announcer, Mr. Peter Rukas. champion and Australian light welterweight challenger. He has eight wins from 14 bouts. Wearing the gold trunks tonight, weighing in at 66 Point two kilos. I give you Jim Savage. And Brian, Savage by name, Savage by look, isn't he? He's uh, a warrior, Jim Savage. I've worked with Seconds him a few down. times in his fights. And one. He is one great game tough cookie. He looks like he's been around a bit, mate, he in the mean streets five. usually. But Six Garonko, the warrior. He's had uh, 36 fights in a short space of time. Incredible. 36 fights for 13 wins, 23 losses. But by golly, don't be put off by those 23 losses. He has lost to some of the best fighters. Just to let you know, Lanny Zabavinia, the Australian featherweight champion. Adam Wills, he has a win over the very well-credentialed former Australian champion, Matt Pawley. He's lost to Reuben Kennedy, Tommy Brown, Johnny Cottrell, Alan Luxford, Danny Boy Pierce, all Australian champions. Um, and including both the LMR brothers, Frankie DeMillo for uh, the former Australian champion, Muhammad LMR, Billy Dibb, who he hasn't fought, Rolando Horonko, we don't need to, uh, to discuss. But Jim Savage, as we watch him, he goes left and right to the body, working away, Bazzi backs Horonko back in the blue corner. We see a very, very uh, careful-looking Horonko. As referee Phil Austin warns Jim Savage just to keep his head out of the action. Stop, stop, He's stop, all stop. over Rolando Ronco like a wet left, suit. You stay off the back of his head. Fox. It's a boy's touch glove. Jim Savage in the yellow boxing trunks with the black band and striping. And Rolando Horonco from Cebu City in the Philippines in the black with the yellow. Oh, he cops a nice hard left. Uh, hooked by Savage. Savage is left and right to the body. Let me tell you, neither of these fighters are going to have to go and look for each other as they bump heads again. Referee Phil Austin warns them again to careful of the head. Both fighters seem to be going below the belt and uh, wild, Brad. Well, there is some punches there that are just straying a little bit down low, searching down low. I think uh, that Savage, a great body puncher, always been a good body puncher, Jim Savage. Had a six-year break. It's an amazing uh, effort to come back after six years. His last fight was against Matthew Pauley in, in October 2000 for the Australian Junior Welterweight Championship, and I was a judge right, on that right, fight down at Cool and Gatter. And he retired after that, and he came back in... Um, October 2006, exactly six years, almost to the day, with a couple of days difference, and uh, and lost to uh, one of the rising stars, young Brad Crookie up at the Sunshine Coast. Right, but Savage is equal to the task. He comes back with his own left and right as Aronko winds up that big right hand. That's the danger punch for uh, Jim Savage. He needs to watch that big bolo right hand of uh, Rolando Aronko. What a great first round. We hope we're enjoying us here on in the red corner. For tonight's coverage of some, fight, some fights that was this was recorded February 16 at the Kedron Wavell Services Club. The last of our series in this fight as Horonko searches down low. That hurt Jim Savage to the body there. Big punches. They've got vicious intentions written over every one of those punches. These are the type of fights that we love to put on uh, on the undercard, Brad, because they're very evenly matched, and both boys just go hell for leather. Very leader. much so. And we see the end of the first round, a good oh, round oh, from uh, Jim Savage. What a great round of boxing that was. Garonko holds his hands up high like he's won the fight, but he's only well, won the first round, mate, on my card. Well, How I, do you see it? I see uh, Jim Savage sneaking the points in that round, and uh, it was a very good round. Close, hard round. They both had their moments. Savage comes out, wants to touch gloves. Horonko doesn't want any part of that. Savage, the southpaw, leads with the right hand, moving around to his left, getting his balance. He's a very well-balanced fighter. Horonko, the stumpy, shorter of the two. As Savage works low again, he goes up, he goes down. Body rips to the body, rips to the rib cage. 
Some great punches there. Rolando just misses with his own right hand. He's standing right in front of Jim Savage. Break, step back. Keep your head up in this there, is going to be one war, an absolute war. Both of these guys don't have a reverse gear. There's no such thing as going backwards. And Jimmy Savage, he is equal to the task. In his time, Brad, in the in his uh, how many fights? 15 fights now. Has he had many cuts, Jim Savage? He's had a couple of fights. He's lost a couple of uh, TKO decisions, you know, and a couple of those times he's been cut. But, you know, if you're going to get Jim Savage out of there, you're a good fighter. You know, this kid's a good fighter. And you know the, the difference now? He's, he's linked up with the very, very powerful Bobby Wilson, Jim, up on the Sunshine Coast. And uh, the KO, Jim, up there at the, uh, what do they call it, the box office, Jim? Noosa box office, Noosa, that's right. Noosa box office. And uh, they've got uh, sponsored by KO Workwear, I think. And, uh, oh, Rolando's give what Jimmy one to go on with. He's not Four, happy about it. Five. He's counted that a knockdown, Phil Austin. Yes, it was a clean knockdown, Brad. It was, One's yep. There. Savage isn't yeah, happy, but uh, definitely yeah, a knockdown, boy. mate. Absolutely. Fox. He's giving one to go on with the little Filipino warrior. He comes in to put the finishing touches on Jim Savage. Is he up to it? Is Jim Savage going to get himself out of trouble? He works away to the body. He's equal to the task. What a fight we've got. I hope you're enjoying it here in the red corner this evening. Oh, it's a big clubbing right hook by Savage as again. Horonko squares him up in the uh, on the ropes. Punches. Sa Watch your head in there. Savage's only form of defence is attack at the moment, Brad. It's amazing. I think he actually hurt Rolando Horonko there with those body shots because he's now backed off a little bit unless he's punched himself out a bit. He needed to keep him off him. And Jim is just bringing himself down into Horonko's range. He's the taller, rangier fighter, but what he's doing is crouching back. down and he's bringing Horonko back in. into the fight by coming down to his own size. What I'd like to see Jim Savage do is start to get outside box a little bit, use that height and reach advantage that he does have. He stepped out there. Gets, gets a referee a warning from referee Phil Austin about using the shoulder. There's the little clubbing short right hook by Ronco. There it is, searching down below the rib cage as Savage cross, hits him with a hard left cross. There's no let up to this fight, Brian Kerwin. They're uh, both having their moments. Rolando Garonco throws every punch like he wants to knock everyone out. He is exciting to watch, Brad. Oh, he is. I've refereed him a few times. There's no reverse gear, and by golly, he's a warrior as he charges him with that left and right. It's a better round for Horonko. And the end of the round two. We're going to take a short break. We hope you'll be back with us here in the red corner as we watch this exciting matchup. Rolando Horonko versus Jim Savage. Welcome back to In the Red Corner. We're watching Rolando Horonko from the Philippines versus Australia's Jim Savage in the yellow shorts. And we're ready to start as referee Phil Boston tells Jim Savage you've got to wait for the bell as we start round three back on February 16, 2007 at the Kedron Wavell Services Club. I have it one round apiece, Brian Kerwin, um, with uh, Jim Savage grabbing the first round, 10-9, and Rolando Horonko grabbing the second round as Savage works stop, low stop, to the body stop, again. Stop. Okay, just no headlocks. Fox. And uh, Phil Austin just warning uh, Rolando Horonko about using the headlock and just using those illegal tactics once he gets in close. Savage now looks like he wants to get outside and box a little bit, use that height and reach. He's got a good height and reach advantage, and I think he's not using it to his advantage tonight, Brian. I think he may have been uh, stung by some of the power punches of Garonko, and obviously he's yeah. changing, changing his tactics up. That's man. better work. He, he led with the left hand, followed by the right hand, left and right, did his work, got in and got out. That's what he needs to do. He doesn't need to stand there and get down and get dirty with Rolando Horonko because he could lose his fight. Watch Clash your head, of heads watch again. Your head. Too many oh, of our Australian gee. fighters have been drawn into that tactics with the Filipinos. Oh, very much. And, and they lose. And lost. Yeah, absolutely. Rolando Horonko in the black shorts with the yellow Bohol stable, trained by Jeffrey and Hermie Bohol down in uh, Green Valley in Sydney in New South Wales. As he unloads on Jim Savage, getting the better of Jimmy Savage round in this round. Savage fights back. He goes left and right to the body. He wails away to the body. Awesome, good, clean shots there by stop, Savage. Stop boxing. Stop boxing. Okay, Rolando, stay off the back of his head, all right? Yeah. Very clear with his instructions, Phil Austin. He's, well, he's a on, he's, valuable yeah. referee for Queensland Boxing, Well, isn't he, he is. He's, uh, he's doing a good job, Phil Austin. He's in charge of the contest, maintains control. He gives both fighters every opportunity to fight their natural fight. And that's what you need to do as a referee. You're not the star of the show. You're there to well perfect the welfare of the fighter. Rolando Ronco, left, right to the body, left, rip to the hook, hook stop, to the body. Stop. 
Okay, keep your head up in there, Jimmy. Stay off the back of his head. Fox. I wouldn't mind betting that Phil Austin pings Rolando as he gets on the back of the Jimmy Savage's head there continually. The head, He's warned him again. I don't think there's any viciousness in that. I think it's the punches, the angle of the punches that Horonko throws his punches and Jim Savage ducking down as he is there to try and avoid the punches and Rolando just clubbing him to the back of the head. But a foul is a foul in anyone's book if you're going to get hit in a foul area. I guess the better referees, Brad, have some of the flexibility to know when it's damaging the other fighter and when well, it is an accident. Exactly, yeah. And some fighters are very good. They can disguise their intentions as an accident and uh, others just simply, uh, you know, wail away. And, and, you know, if they hit in a foul area, it genuinely is an accident. Horonko, look at the power punches. I don't know if you can hear that at home, but those punches are slapping away. Head, Jimmy. And Jimmy holding is hitting. That's a foul. As Phil Austin warns him again. By golly, it's a good, close, hard round. There's a nice right lead from Jeff Savage again. And we're inside 10 seconds now. Another nice right lead left to the body. That's better work from Savage. Don't know if it's given him enough to win the round. Rolando goes up again as we see the end of the round. <laughs> he was going to go on with it there, Rolando. Phil Austin's uh, not going to wear any of that. I actually think that was another round to Ronco, Brian Kerr, and I think it was a very, very close round. Well, I've given him all three rounds. You've given uh, two to two to him and one to Savage, so we did yeah. there a little bit. As you can hear in the background is that of the trainer from the box office gym in Noosa, Bobby Wilson. And he's a very experienced trainer, knows his way around. That's big Bobby on the right-hand side, a former amateur and former professional in his own right. As we look at a very pensive Jim Savage. He knows he's got a fight ahead of him, Jimmy Savage. Mate, he's up against it at the moment, and uh, if he continues to go down the track of mixing it up with him, I think he's going to get beat, mate. Yeah, absolutely. But it's a good fight. It can be anyone's fight. Round four. Phil Austin again <laughs> instructs him to go back to his Stay corner before the bells. <laughs> he's a stickler no, for the rules, and that's what is. all referees <laughs> need to be, mate. Oh, golly. I have a one-point advantage to on my unofficial card to Rolando Horonko. Now, can Jim Savage do something to bridge the gap? Beautiful left, right there, crossing left hand by Savage. That's better work by Jim. You know, this kid's always been a good fighter. He's always been a very aggressive, got a lot of fight in him. I'd love to see him What's just relax a little bit, take his time, place his punches and think, control his aggression. And I, and I think that Bobby Wilson is... Oh, there's a beautiful right hook by Savage. That certainly caught the attention of Horonko, but it stung him into action as well. That was better work from Savage. He worked from the outside, taking his time, doing exactly what we said. The, the pace has slowed down dramatically here. I think it needed to, Brad. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't have made the six rounds. I don't think so. I think someone would have fallen over before uh, before the end of the third round. It was we in the third round now. And this may be where Jim Savage has had uh, three fights in six years and Rolando Garonco has had 36 fights oh, in six he's years. Incredibly, uh, he's incredibly match fit at Rolando Garonco. Hor as he Savage pops a very heavy right hand. Now he gets sucked into the slugger fest with Rolando Ronco. He doesn't need to do that. Ronco waves him in <laughs> once more. He loves mixing it up. Oh, he does. Of course, cornered tonight by Dido Bohol, who uh, has a few in his stable down in Sydney. Certainly does. 17 fights since he's arrived here in September 2004, Rolando Horonko. He arrived in, on the Australian shores right, in Sydney with back. the Bohol stable. He's had 17 fights and uh, he's fought the very, very best in the lightweight, junior welterweight and junior lightweight division in this country. Oh, there's a clubbing left right by uh, Horonko. He's uh, up to the task. Brad, as you were reading that uh, statistic... Rolando Garonco hit uh, Savage with a massive right hand left hook combination and it, it staggered him there for a Stunned second. Stunned him a little bit, yeah. And, and he, he still looks to be on shaky legs. He doesn't he? Yep. Yeah. Getting hit with a left lead there now. There's the little right hook break, again. Break, break. Hey, hey. Okay. You, you give your elbows there. Hey, listen, listen, when I call break, you've got to step back, all right? Box. And uh, Phil Austin is quite within his rights here to give uh, Horonko a, a stern warning. And I think the next time you'll see Austin will probably uh, uh, penalise Horonko because he's, he's stuck the elbow into Savage's face a couple of times. I don't think he does it purposely. That's a habit that fighters do in the gymnasium. 
There he is, he turns her, um, he turns Savage around. Still a little unsteady on his feet, Jimmy Savage. He stands there, he's got down into the gutter with Aronko, and it's unfortunately he's losing. This is a good, hard, close fight. Lefts and right by Aronko, he wails away at Savage. Oh, what a round. Still a close fight, still a close round as we see the end of round number four. Good round as Jim Savage walks back to his corner and we're going to be back in just a few moments after this break. And welcome back to In The Red Corner. We hope you're enjoying tonight's coverage of the Jim Savage, Rolando Horonko Absolute War at the Kedron Wavell Services Club on February 16 this year. As we come now for round number five, on my unofficial court scorecard, I have Rolando Horonko just two points ahead, but I could have erred there. I think one round is probably uh, very close as we see referee Phil Austin come in to, uh, to break them up again. This is an absolute war. This is what the fight-paying public come to see. This is what the fighters want to see. They want to see good, hard, quality fights like this where he's hit him on the back of the head again, Rolando. I don't think it was... Uh, Intentional as Jimmy Savage ducks his head down. This is a, what is a classic undercard Great fight, Brad. Hey. Uh, very evenly matched, and both boys putting in everything they've got. Okay, you got to start listening to me, otherwise I'll cross your voice. All right, Fox. Okay, now I'd say Phil Ross, Phil Austin has run out of warnings for Orlando, Orlando Horonko here. He's warned him a number of times, and uh, knowing Phil, he's a very, very fair referee, gives everyone every opportunity, but I think uh, if Aronko is going to continue to flout the rules of our sport like that, he needs to be penalised. As Jim Savage now starting to use all the ring, this is better work from Savage. He started in round number four doing that, but there he stands there and lets Aronko punch away, but Savage comes back with some good body punching. He's winning this round, Jim Savage. Outside, boxing, moving. Club with a right left hook there, making Horonko miss. That's better work from uh, from our man in yellow from the Sunshine Coast. I'd say, fair to say that I reckon Bobby Wilson would have given him a rocket in in between round in the break between round number four and five. As he stands there break, again, as he unloads, he makes him miss and makes him pay. Well, this is the style that he needed from the outset. This mate. is better work from Jim Savage. And it's good to see that he can change up mid-fight and uh, change his tactics and well, uh, he has. He's become been, successful with it. He's been able to change the pace of the fight. He's been able to change the uh, the rushing tactics. He works the body very, very well. Left and right's under the rib cage. Ronco charging in again, just can't set. The big right hand is the one that Jim Savage needs to watch. And if you want to beat a southpaw, a southpaw leads with his right hand. If you want to beat him, you throw lots of right hands, just like Horonko did there. And what you need to do is get that left foot of yours outside the right foot of the southpaw and step Watch across so that you square your shoulders up and the right, fo the, right, the right hand will go what we call straight down the pipe. Straight down the windpipe as Horonko's doing there. He's throwing those punches in angles now, trying to keep Savage in the corner, but Savage is equal to the task, works his way around. Aronko just says something to, to Bobby Wilson there. I don't know, maybe Bobby was asking him how he's travelling or something. But uh, I'm not sure how his English is, but he's, <laughs> he's let him know something, oh, mate. I've seen some funny things. Good refereeing there by, uh, by Phil Austin. One of our leading referees asking both <laughs> fighters to watch their heads. He works the body again, Jim Savage. A good round as we go inside. Ten seconds for round number five. It's a better round for Jim Savage. Body work by Horonko. Both hit the arms. And that was another good round. A good round for Jim Savage as he works his way back into this fight. He's won that round clearly on my card. He Brent. won that round as we go into the sixth and final round. I'd probably I'd have, have it that Savage would need to win this round to somehow pull out a draw, mate. I think so. I've got him one point behind on my unofficial scorecard, but then again, who am I? At, uh, I'm just uh, a fellow commentator here tonight right, as we see right. Rolando Horonko as he tries to unload on Savage again. Jim looks a little worse for wear. He's, uh, the shine's come off him out of the ring for six years, and he's well within grasp of grabbing his first win in... Uh, in something like uh, six years. He's fought that. There's a beautiful right hand, a left, left cross, I should say, and again by Jim Savage. Again, he's working on the outside, making his reach, and another left hook by Savage. It's another good round by Jim Savage, clearly winning this last round. 
He makes Aronco miss with his own big right hand. There's the right lead. There's the left cross as it comes across again. Makes him miss again, using all of the ring, Jim Savage. He's not getting drawn into that no. uh, early slugfest. Which he's got Gronko out of the gutter. He's got out of the street fight, and he's boxed the way he knows. You've got club with a little right cross at him right on the temple there. A couple of body shots here. Beautiful evasion work. See how he skipped out, went under the right hand. Good skills from young Jim Savage. Right, and you right. can all, already, right, I can see the, end, the Bobby Wilson factor starting to come out on Jim Savage. And all of you junior welterweights around, have a look at this young guy because he is go, going to go, be... Go. Oh, Phil Austin now, someone's lost a mouth guard. Rolando Horonko. Phil Austin stops the average, Bobby. stops the action. And I would dare say that... Um, Jim Savage is only going to get Time better in. out of all of this as we're uh, into the sixth and final round on this terrific card at the Kedron Wavell Services Club. And boy, have we seen some upsets. He makes Rolando Horonko miss again. He punishes him to the body with lefts and rights. Horonko charges in, gets him in a headlock. Break, break, step back. Watch he's actually hands. largely ineffectual in this last round, Horonko. Maybe he's, the shine's come, I think, a bit. That's clubbing little right hand again. Savage lefts and rights to the body. Horonko misses with those wild little swings. Savage makes him miss again and makes him pay with his own little short left cross. A good round by Jim Savage. Has he pulled it out of the fire? Has he done enough? He's one round, one point behind on my unofficial scorecard. Our judges tonight, Mark right, Osborne, right, Alan Burford and uh, Tony Kettlewell, I think. No, Alan Simpson, I should say. Rolonko misses again. God, good evasive skills right. by Savage. Can't be long to go now. <laughs> Referee Phil Austin argues to get them apart. Needs to do some more weight training, Phil. Savage now using all of the ring. This is smart. He gets clubbed there. Got a little bit too cute, Jim. Got hit with a little right hand. Is it enough to pull, a pull it out of the fire for Orlando Horonko? Savage is in the gutter with him at the moment. Standing there, swinging and swaying away. We're inside 10 seconds, and there's the end of the sixth and final round. What a wonderful fight. Brian Kerwin, off the fence. Oh, what a go. Mate, I don't think Garonko did it? enough in that round. I've Ladies got it a draw. Judge, I have it a draw Simpson, as well. Let's see what the boys thought of sitting at ringside. Judge Alan Burford judged the fight. 57-56. Judge Mark Osborne judged the fight. 55-59. A split points decision to... The blue corner, Jim Savage. Well, Brad, they've given it to Jim Savage. One judge had a 59-55. Oh, yeah. I don't know which fight he well, was watching. I can say that. You probably can't. One, a one-point, uh, a one-point, uh, uh, Alan Simpson, Alan Burford had 57-56. Mark Osborne, 55-59 the other way. Um, I can't agree with that score, but I would guess Mark said it his way. Garonco. I had it 58 apiece. I had it a draw, but... What a terrific fight. Great to see that young guy, Jim Savage, back in the winner's circle. Rolando Horonko, and I guess he's very, very disappointed. He fought his heart out. Brad, he's lost no friends, Rolando Horonko. The crowd on the night uh, were very supportive of him, and although he did get beat, uh, mate, he'll be back, and we'll, it'll be a pleasure to have him on the card again. Absolutely. Have a little bit of a listen to Jim Savage, what he's got to say. My number one supporter, Chris, from Pipos and by Mini Bikes. My, uh, my trainer, Bobby Wilson, who got me in shape for this fight and showed me some boxing skills. Uh, the promoter who got me the fight. Uh, Rolando here for uh, coming and giving me a good fight because he's a tough fighter. And, of course, if he wants, I'll fight him again. Um, yeah, thanks to my family and everyone who supports me and everyone who come along and support the boxing. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Jimmy. Give your hands up for Jimmy Savage, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, Rolando Goronka. And there we go. That's we'll Jim Savage. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's action Champion in the red corner. Ronaldo. On behalf of Brian Kerwin, I'm Brad Vicali. We hope you'll join us next week on In the Red Corner.